Hello everyone. Yesterday we identified the character traits of James, the narrator of Everything Will Be Okay by James Howe. You all came up with some really fantastic insights on his character. Let's take a look at some of them right now. So the first one is Afraid. I'm holding the box tight against my chest. I feel smoky moving around inside. Ah, yeah, he was nervous about taking him to the vet. Desperate, even if they are mean, sometimes even to you. Yeah, he wanted friends, but he was friends with people even when they were mean. Hmm, must be desperate for friends. That he's grumpy or angry. I don't speak. I don't look at my brother's face or my father's or my mother's. This comes at the end of the story, and you all know what happened at the, before the end of the story. Concerned. We'll take him to Dr. Milk, I say. He'll make him better. He's concerned about the well-being of the kitten that he has found. Caring. Don't worry, I tell it, stroking its scabby head. Mewing is replaced with a faint purr. He's trying to calm the cat down because he knows the cat's not feeling very well. Hopeful. Everything will be okay. Hmm. Title of the story. Kind. Friendly. Everything will be okay. I'm going to take you home, and my mom will give you a bath and some medicine. He's very kind and friendly and hopeful in this part of the story. Brave. I will never work for Dr. Milk. I will not go hunting with my father. I will decide for myself what kind of boy I am, what kind of man I will become. This is the end of the story. This is where he decides who he is going to be. Wow. This character went through a lot of emotions. I like that he ended up being brave and decisive at the end, deciding that he gets to choose what kind of person he's going to be. Now that we've analyzed the whole story for a variety of character traits, let's focus on just one to defend. Writing prompt. Based on the short story you have read, explain how James, the narrator, showed empathy throughout the story. Be sure to answer the questions by citing your sources and explaining your reasoning. Write your answer below. This constructed response is attached to this assignment, so make sure you do it and get it turned in. Remember, empathy means the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, so when you're writing your response, keep that in mind. Also, don't forget to use page 5 in your planner as a guide for what to include. Race. R. Restate the question. A. Answer the question. C. Cite the source, which is textual evidence and E, explain your response. Make sure you explain your reasoning, how your textual evidence actually proves that your answer is correct. Okay, write your response on Google Classroom. Off you go!